Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. Today in this important video lecture, I'm going to talk about how to prepare bar bending schedule, especially for RCC column, because many civil engineering students are don't know about uh, how to prepare bar bending schedule for RCC column. So therefore, this is my first video, how to prepare bar bending schedule. So in this diagram, I will show you some important points which are very important for bar bending schedule before starting, uh, before starting a uh, quantity of steel uh, for RCC column and bar bending schedule. So therefore, this is the first video in which I will show you in this diagram, I will show you all those points which are very important in bar bending schedule and second video, I will show you some important formulas which we can use easily in bar bending schedule and in third video, I will show you how to prepare bar bending schedule for RCC column or how we can find total estimation of steel for RCC column. So this is the first video to show you some important points. So let's start. If the video is helpful for you, so like the video and subscribe the channel with press bell icon to get notification for new updates seven engineering videos. Let's start. Here you can see guys, this is lateral ties. Okay, but there isn't any concrete cover or any uh, thing related with concrete. So this is just steel bar. You can see this is lateral ties for RCC column right and you can see this is the long section for rcc column right here guys you can see i will discuss about it hooks and also for bands and also uh, which are present in this so i will uh, show you in this video right you can see this is lateral ties this is lateral ties you can see this is this all is lateral ties so here are four numbers are you can use six numbers or eight numbers so it's depend on the project or it's depend on the structure design right but these are steel bars you can see one two three four four steel bars so you can use here six numbers right so these are sides so from this point the, this point so actually this is square square column okay so this is lateral ties for square column so therefore this side is also s from this point to this point okay and this is also s so if this is rectangular so you can see you can suppose take this is uh, x or this is y or you can take it this is b and this is a then we are able to calculate the length of lateral ties for example a plus b if you want to find the length of this stirrup okay so these are very important points right now you can see here five bands we will deduct and I will show you in next video how you can deduct bands. Okay. Five bands are present in each lateral ties, right? How? You can see this is one, one band. This is second band. This is second. Okay. This is one two this is three here you can see this one is four for this and this one is five right one here this one and one here so four and five one two three four five bands are present in each lateral ties for rcc column right so if we use here fifth number are six numbers bars six numbers right so there isn't any band okay just we have five band we will deduct and i will show you in next video i've already discussed and here you can see here are two band uh, here are two hooks one this one and this is the other one two hooks we will also calculate length of two hooks and lateral ties and bar bending schedule to calculate quantity of steel for RCC column, right? In next video, I will also, okay, so, uh, sorry, in next video, I will show you the formulas of uh, RC, RCC column, especially for bar bending schedule. And in third video, I will show you all quantity or all estimation of RCC column for bar bending schedule, right? So it's been clear. Okay, now you can see long section of this column, right? Here are some important points you can see here. The first one is here. 
This is called okay when we join one steel bar to another for insufficient steel. So this is called overlap length or lapping length, or to join over, or for upper floors. For upper floors, we join two steel bars. It's called overlapping or lapping length, and I will discuss its formula in next video, right? So this is also lapping length or joints for upper floors in a building. Now here you can see these bars, this one and also this one. These are main bars. Suppose its dia is 16 millimeter. So this is main bar. These two are main bars, right? In cross section, or uh, sorry, in long section you can see here. Now here you can see this is the other one. This is. This is also lapping length, but this is joint to neck column or for footing here. For example, this is footing. So this lap, this lapping is joints with footing or neck columns, right? Or for neck column. This is the other important point. Now here you can see the lateral ties. We will also require to find the steel calculation and lateral ties. So you can see these are lateral ties and long section. And this is the plan of lateral ties. So these are some important tips which I have discussed here. And with these tips, we will find all calculation, especially for steel and bar bending schedule. So before preparing bar bending schedule, we should know all about these things. What is hook? What is bands? Okay, are bands? Uh, are what is the lapping length? Are joint to upper floors? And what is lateral ties, main bars, etc. Okay, so this is very important for you, which I have discussed the front of you. So if you have any question about this video, so you just comments. I will try to reply your answer. But wait for the second video of this. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.